Hey, this is a video about this uh, new Nova uh, monitor. It's actually a, like a touch monitor. It's compatible to a Wacom and it normally works really good and it's inexpensive. It's like half the price. I wanted to try it out, which I did. And as you can see, it's jacked up. But normally this thing works. When I started um, on a new project, I discovered that it wasn't working the way it's supposed to so the first thing you'd want to probably do is calibrate or something right so you look it would be here and you say okay that's monitor 2 that's what it's actually saying on there I'll show you in a little bit um, but there's this tab here called calibrate so normally that's what you want to do you would calibrate this thing so let me change the shader a little bit so you would click on this that uh, cross and then you would do it on all fours to calibrate right when you get to the second one it doesn't do it no more so that was kind of weird when I first started working on this new project I had to go back to the keyboard and just to get out of the screen so I started thinking maybe my monitor is all jacked up since this is a inexpensive version of a Wacom I would understand it maybe it just broke finally but I did some tests primarily I decided to first thing I thought of was to set this thing up to either um, a single monitor or duplicate so that's what I did so let's try it now so we'll go there and try to calibrate it Oops, sorry about that so we come here calibrate and already we're able to use the mouse or the the pen to move around so that's a good sign that means that the monitor still works just not in the configuration that we want which is extended view now why would you want it to be in the extended view well, I'm going to show you why that's so important um, single view and dual view is fine if you only have one monitor but if you have two monitors it kind of defeats the purpose so let's say for instance I wanted to um, make a creature or something I would first let me launch my creature that I've been working on for this new um, movie that I have So, let's bring this up. So, if I was to use it this way, I would have both of them up. And I'm actually not utilizing this screen for like references or some videos or whatever, you know. So, what I end up doing, whatever I do here, it shows up there. Uh, and it works, you know. If if I um, take the the pen and just draw on this, uh, just like that, it does work. The pressure works and everything. If I do lightly, so see, if I press hard, so everything works. So there's really nothing wrong with the monitor. It's more like a configuration inside. Uh, windows so if you come over here to this pen tablet bus you know in a month denominator the denominator sorry about that um, that driver is jacked up because it gives you like a little warning sign and I've tried fixing that and to no avail so something happened during an update that I didn't catch which caused this thing to happen um, and I know it's it's um, Windows is because if you come over here and put it back to extended view whoops why do I keep doing that to extended view you will notice that this monitor is one and that one is two so if you remember when I was using the um, the monitors the uh, Unova's drivers it was the opposite so let's take a look at that so if we look at the setting over here it actually says 
this monitor is two and this is one. So I tried everything but to no avail to change drivers, uninstall, reinstall, you know, that's just insane. So I figured out it was some sort of update that I had to do, but it's been I wouldn't know which update to um to go back to. So what I ended up doing was doing a fresh install of Windows and seeing what happens. So I'm going to show you that later on in, in a little bit when I come back. All right. See you soon. So we're back. So let's take a look. So I went ahead and rebuilt um, Windows 10 and did all the driver thingies and stuff. It could be an easier way to do this, but I just don't want I don't have the time or the resources to be messing around. So now so I just wanted to do it the quickest possible. So now we got the same configuration. That's one. And that's that's where'd it go? That's two. Let's take a look at the um Unovo's drivers and make sure all that corresponds with Windows. And it does. So we got one and that's two. So now the real test is will it work in dual view? I mean, extended view. I know for sure it will work in dual view. So I'm firing up ZBrush, bringing up that um, that creature that I was working on. So it's over here since this is set up as the main um, uh, the main mon monitor. So let's just move that over here real quick and see if it actually works. If my assumptions were right, I don't want to open it like that. So, I already configured the um, the pen to the monitor, so everything should be good to go once I start messing around with this. So here it is. So now we don't have. Um, the dual view, we have an extended view. So if I had, let's say, um, an ear or something, so if I come over here and look for your image, and I just wanted to practice on an ear, I could have that picture up there and then actually work on the ear to make it look like it. So that's why having an extended view is, is better than you know a uh, dual view. But again we haven't tested it so let's see. Yeah, what, does it work? Let's change my this to clay build. So yeah look it works. So now the monitor works with the dual view. So I could mess around with this, you know, use, you know, make an eyeball. I don't think this creature is going to get an eyeball, but it pretty much works the way it's supposed to. Does the um, pressure sensitive work? Well, yes, it does. See, the more I push on it, the bigger it gets. Okay. Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys dual view and extended view. It's a pain in the ass when your monitors won't work, but there's always a there's a will, there's a way. Okay, that's it.